In React, you'll often see things like this. It looks a little strange, and it's not HTML. It's JSX, also known as JavaScript XML. It's a syntax extension to JavaScript. It's like HTML and JavaScript had a baby. You get a template language and the full power of JavaScript all in one. The result of JSX is something called a React element. So at first glance, you might think that JSX is an abomination by combining HTML and JavaScript. When you were first learning the basics of web development, I'm sure you learned about separation of concerns, keeping your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript separate. But it basically means you should keep things separate that are not related. So if you think about that, it actually makes sense to put HTML and JavaScript and even CSS together when they are all referencing the same element, or as React calls it, component. We'll talk more about components in another video. Let's see what JSX can do. In this example, we have a variable called name, and then we use it in JSX by wrapping it with curly braces. You can actually wrap any valid JavaScript expression inside of curly braces in JSX. For example, we could replace name with 2 plus 2, and that would work just fine. The result would be hello4. In this example, we call a function from inside the JSX expression. We can also split JSX over multiple lines for readability by wrapping it in parentheses. We can also use JSX inside of conditionals and loops, assign it to variables, accept it as arguments, and return it from functions. This is because JSX compiles into regular JavaScript, and we'll see that in just a minute. We can also add attributes, just like in HTML, and use either quotes for string literals or curly braces for JavaScript expressions as the attribute's value. We can also nest JavaScript tags within other tags, just like in HTML. But browsers have no idea what to do with JSX. So I mentioned that JSX compiles into regular JavaScript. Here's an example. During the build phase, Babel compiles JSX down to react.createElement calls. These two examples are identical. Take a second to compare these. The end result is that react.createElement creates an object like this. These objects are called React Elements. You can think of them as descriptions of what you want to see on the screen. React reads these objects and uses them to construct the DOM and keep it up to date. That's the basics of JSX. Like this video to help me out, and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.